<clears throat> what's up what's up what's up you guys this is kind of like a first impression semi not so first impression slash review and let's have a chit chat and talk some type of bad energy that is clinging to my face two days ago i got this pimple i felt it like my face started hurting it is just like sitting on my face and i'm so tempted to pop it and it doesn't even hurt anymore it's just there i end up going to walgreens again walgreens can be so tempting especially when you have a balance reward and you're part of their beauty community being that they have buy two get one free plus i had some rewards bucks in there too this is one of my favorite products and i love this stuff for my face by sloping soap and glory i've been using this for a few years my favorite facial wash it really does work and it's only 12 bucks i figured i would give this a try this is the fab for purifying foam so i used that this morning and this is supposed to help you know shrink your pores i'm not really sure if this is really like a true fact i thought i would give it a try well I can still see that damn pimple. It feels amazing on your face. You only need like a pump while I'm washing it. It feels really soft. The suds, the foam, it feels really, really soft. And for the free product, this here by Soap and Glory, which is their pure eye attack, eye makeup remover, triple action. So it's like a jelly formula. I've been hearing like some wonderful things about this drugstore brand, CoverGirl. CoverGirl has been around for a while, but I hear their True Blend Concealer really does work magic. So I figured I'd give it a try. I did get in the color sand beige. So we'll see how this works out. If it doesn't, a girl will be returning. You guys know Octoly. I love Octoly. They have like some really great products on Octoly. So if you are a beauty influencer for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, sign up on Octoly and you can review some of their products. And all they ask in return for is a honest, truthful review. This was gifted actually to me by the company called Patchology. Rejuvenating eye mask, a uh, girl's eyes are kind of dehydrated. And my face right now is super dry. I already went ahead to cleanse my face, but I wanted to try out these gel eye patches. As I stated, this was gifted to me by Patchology. And I'll also link the information below. Flash patch, and it's just a rejuvenating eye gel. Hydrolyzed collagen. It comes in a five pack. They have a bunch of different other type of masks. One, you only have to wear it for about five minutes five or ten minutes is long enough for me comes in a little pack like this okay so these feel really really like squishy on the face and you can feel the product all in it, it kind of reminds me of like a silicone feel and I'm hoping that it stays in place now that we got those on so I'm just gonna put my hair in two cornrows because I'm going to put on the wig today this thing is not trying to stay on my face so anyway, the one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about is just basically everyday life. First of all, today is, what is today? The 20th of, today is the 20th of February. I'm not into the whole celebrity thing, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, and I don't really care about what the celebrities do. I mean, it's not like my really huge concern. The radio station out here in Arizona is somewhat trash. I really don't find the need for you guys to play Rihanna's song, 24 Hours. Every last one of her songs. Ah, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about these eye gels. One of them just slipped off. Today marks the day of Rihanna's birth. 98.3 feels the need today to play Rihanna's songs. Only her songs for 24 hours. People have birthdays every day, baby. I think her music is phenomenal. However, please just play some other music before April goes crazy in the car. As for these eye masks, I'm having kind of like a difficult time with the one over here. I know it's been five minutes, so I'm just going to remove them. As for the consistency, like the product that is inside of it, it does feel really soft. I wish it would have stayed on because I would have used, I would have needed that softness like my inner tear duct. For the most part, you know, my eye area does feel a lot more hydrated because my face was so dry like it was overly dry just because I finished washing it I wanted to give this product a try which is by Laneige this is a Korean based product I also was gifted this from Oxley.com and Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer I actually used this yesterday so this is really not a first impressions impressions first I thought this was a 
glass bottle, but it's actually a plastic frosted bottle. You get 5.0 fluid ounces. This is supposed to work as a toner and a moisturizer, two in one. First, I really didn't believe it. I didn't have anything on my face. It was bare faced when I tried this out yesterday morning. So my face was dry. Once I put this on, it felt so soft. It felt like velvety soft. I just used this and no primer at all. It feels so soft on your skin. You can use it day and night, but I really wish I would have put on like a translucent powder after I applied this because I have like really, really oily skin. By the time it was about nine o'clock last night, I look like somebody could have fried chicken on my face. I'm not really happy with the nozzle. It's a very tiny hole. You can remove the plastic, but once you remove this plastic thing, it's wide open, you're gonna spill product. I really wish they would have put kind of like a pump on it or some type of cap that you could have kind of like flipped open so that way you can easily get the product out. Keep shaking it into your hand. And girl, let me tell you, it feels so creamy and just really soft on the skin. At first, when it goes on, it just really doesn't feel like anything. It just feels, well, when I first put it on yesterday, I kind of was like, this is just like regular toner. Where's the moisturizer gonna come in? Within a few seconds after applying it, you can feel like the moisturized part. You know, it kind of makes your skin feel really soft and undry like. It's not too greasy. I really don't like to use like a lot of products that have oil in them. But after washing my face, it just becomes really dry from the products that I use. So it feels really tight. It's pimple is just really sitting there. They do have like a lot of different other products. I really do like this for normal to dry skin. The benefit of this product is it's softening and it's intense moisturizer. So like I said, I should have put on a translucent powder after applying this because my skin does get really, really oily. It'll look like you can fry some chicken on my face. Before I go too deep into conversation, God knows what I'm even gonna talk about. You guys know how much I love Shop Miss A. It is this amazing online and in-store in Texas. Makeup, cosmetic, online dream where you can get all products for a dollar. Some are over a dollar now. Nothing too like extreme like a dollar fifty five or a dollar eighty eight. I love them. They have like amazing makeup. When I go and purchase things on the website, I definitely just purchase basically all the AOA. Like there are different brands on it that you can also purchase, but I really do enjoy the AOA product line. Like even if they're not sending me anything, I definitely buy all of my lashes from them, okay? And I also buy a lot of other products that I like to use from them also. I did purchase some things on my own a couple of weeks ago, and I like the product so much that I went back and I repurchased more of their new concealers. It reminds me a lot of the LA Girl Pro concealers for half the price. I wanted to get like basically not all the shades, but damn near all the shades. I made another order and this was like my second order within like a week apart. I went to my mailbox and there was this bag, Shop Miss A. I was kind of like confused because I had just purchased the products like four to five days prior. It was on a Friday evening, so there was no way that my product could have came like Tuesday or Wednesday. Girl, when I opened up the bag, there was a postcard, and it was actually my PR stuff from Shop Miss A. Girl likes surprises in her mailbox. But then I still wanted my own stuff that I purchased. I'm really gonna show you guys what I purchased along with the new products that they have with the AOA Studio line. If you're on a budget or you're not on a budget and you like makeup, you definitely wanna get their AOA Studio line, plus their brushes by Shop Miss A, the AOA Studio is definitely on point and I think like their brushes are ones that I use on a daily basis along with other brushes that I really do like too. They have these new concealers. I do like their other concealers which kind of like dry down really quick. Those are the ones with the doe foot wand. I like those a lot, but you have to be super quick with them or else they will dry down. And they give you like this really cool coverage, coverage HD look. The thing that kind of like bothers me about them sometimes is the scent. I can get past that because the coverage is amazing. Sometimes I really don't want so much coverage. So I went ahead and I got more of these concealers. They have their own little packaging now and they're $1.55. Now the color schemes or the color names might be a little different versus what you would get with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. The one cool thing about Chop Miss A, they give you swatches for like different complexions so that way you can pick and choose by just by going by that person's complexion on the website. Girl, they're only $1.55, you can get all of them. 
want to. Got a bunch of them. I don't even know how many. Why? I don't even know. Probably because it was only $1.55. The one that I've been using the most is in the color called Nude. Didn't think this color was going to be for me. This gives you a yellow undertone and it's actually a really good color. It kind of is in a color, color scheme of creamy beige by LA Girl. Some of the money proceeds do go to the Paw Paw Animal Foundation. So that's the cool thing about the AOA Studio line. And it's also animal cruelty free. It's vegan. Okay, girl? Vegan. This is the color that I've been using for my under eye. It reminds me so much of the actual LA Girls Pro Concealer, but for half the price, depending on where you get it. And it doesn't have the actual brush, but I don't really use the brush that comes with the concealer anyway, so it doesn't bother me none. It has a medium to full coverage. You know, you just have to build it up. It has like the yellow undertones, which I need. I'm not really sure why I got this one here, which was Fair Ivory, but I got Fair Ivory, Natural Beige, the Color Rich, which I'm gonna use for like a contour whenever I decide to open it. Amber Cappuccino, and Amber Cappuccino are kind of very similar, kind of close. These are the ones that have the olive undertones. Another nude buff, which I'm not really sure why I got that, but probably because they were only $1.55. Natural beige again, and nutmeg, and another nude. If you don't dry down fast, you know how LA girl, you have to let it sit for a minute if you don't want to shear it out. If you don't want it to shear out, then these work just the same. I did get some makeup brushes from them. I really like the ones that I got, so I decided to buy some more of the exact same because they're kind of like limited one per person, especially because they're only like $1.88. I mean, like, go figure. And for $1.88, honey, you spent that $1.88 and then some because these brushes are amazing. These brushes right here that I got are actually a duo set. This is the stipulating brush. You can use this to put on your foundation. I haven't used it yet, but I have a couple of these from MAC and I really used to like these back in the day. And then I got a smaller one and I think they were like either $1.88 or two. This is great for highlighting and even sometimes buffing out your concealer. The cool thing about these brushes is they do have numbers on them. This is the F28. And I can't remember what this brush was used for, but I like to use it just for like my loose powder or like my loose powder bronzers. It's kind of like not too dense and packed, but you can get enough product, especially for something that you don't want a lot of. I love this little brush so much that I had to go out and buy another one. And this is one of the ones that you can only buy like one per customer, the F30. I use this for under my eyes. So I did get a postcard that says, we hope you love the new products, enjoy. They did send me one of their new Wonder Blenders, which is the Moochie. And this is a special edition for $1.88 too. I have not opened this yet. It kind of reminds me of my Real Technique sponge. You guys know I love Real Techniques. They did come out with the pink version now. And they also have the body ones. They're the only sponges that I use, like honestly. So I do use Eco Tool sponge from time to time. And I figure this one looks so similar to it. And the feel is identical. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this, but it has the same type of texture and feel as the Real Techniques one would. For $1.88, this might work out. I'm not really sure if it's gonna get this big in size, but it has the dips and curves, like the flatness on this side. The shape is a little bit different. I do like the fact that it's flat right here also, because it makes it a little bit easier versus this. I don't really use this in all the time. I also did get some of their makeup remover wipes, which are the pH balance alcohol free one. You do get 15 in these really great travel products you can take with you. Watermelon scent, and this is the mango. Now, I'm not really sure if it smells like watermelon, but it does smell good. A sniff test, girl. I will say the mango one does smell very citrus-like, very fruity. I'm not really keen on having scented baby wipes or facial wipes, but those of you guys who don't mind, you definitely have to check these out for a dollar. They smell really good, though. This one product that they did send me, I actually already opened it and gave it a try last week, and this is their Extends the Wear of Makeup, Minimizes Pores, Perfect Filter Face Primer. This also is a special edition for $1.55. And I used it along with one of the Shop Miss A 
HD foundation in a glass bottle and has a dropper. I purchased those like a few months ago. It's sometimes hard for me to get foundation online because a lot of times the lower priced foundations always end up to have like red tones. So I have to kind of like dull them down and work them. Even with drugstores, I don't really find like a lot of foundations that have like yellow undertone. Perfect filter. Like I said, I did use it last week. I wanted to see if it really was going to work because it does say it will minimize your pores. The product is very creamy. Like it's more or less to me, it feels like, like a lotion, like a really, really cheap, cheap lotion. And for me, someone who has oily skin, this did not work out for me at all. Within like an hour to two hours, my makeup looked so bad. Like you can see it looked like it was kind of like dripping off of, not dripping, but it, it was like, it looked like it was sinking into my pores, you know, and it looked really oily and it was kind of like vanishing off of my face. For me, I don't think this would work. Maybe if your skin is dry, you can use this. I wasn't like a huge fan of this perfect filter. That day I wasn't going anywhere, so I decided to just try it out in the house and within like a couple of hours, my makeup looked like crap. I did try out these other products that they sent me, which I was really excited about. Just gave one a try. Gel eyeliners. You can either use these as eyeliners or shadows or shadow base. And they're really small. They're a dollar. You know, this is the AOA brand. I think they're a dollar. Don't get me to don't give me the line. The Buttercream Gel Liner and Shadow. They're easy to apply, you know. I'm not sure how long they will last in a, like a makeup collection if you don't use them every day. Are they gonna dry out really quick? I'm not really sure. But the consistency of them is really soft. You can build it if you want, so I'm not a makeup pro, okay? But I like this because you can use it as a gel eyeliner or you can use it as an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base. This definitely will intensify your eyeshadow. I'm just gonna show you guys all of the other ones. I don't really wanna swatch them because I don't want to make this video too long. So this one here is called Red Velvet. They all come with these aluminum foil things over them so that way they don't dry out. This is like a pretty wineish color, burgundy reddish. You probably could use this as lipstick. It's showing up differently on camera, but it's definitely like a lot deeper than that. And it's kind of like matted down. This is a really pretty color. Amongst that, I'm not going to open the other ones, but I can hopefully you guys can see them. Pumpkin, which is more like a rusted color. Blueberry. Cupcake, which is a blue color, I'm not really sure where that came from. Licorice, which is black. Ganache, oh my god. Um, this is, looks like it's like a metallic black. Sprinkles, which is purple or lavender. Rose, which is a beautiful rose gold. I like that color. Java chip, which is a dark brown. Pistachio, which also, ooh, this is like a really pretty emerald green color. It looks promising you guys. This green is gorgeous. Showing up brighter on camera and they go on easily so you can definitely build the color on them. The last one is another green which is a little bit lighter and it's called Sweet. They did send me a bag full of their pigments and along with that they did send me two chapsticks. Filled about the chapsticks because my lips be dry. These are scented lip chaps or chapsticks and I did have the mango one and I don't know where it's at right now because I was using that one. But this this is the lavender one. They're very nourishing. They do keep your lips hydrated and soft. So girl, listen, I keep a chapstick. These are their pigments and I was so shocked when I seen these. They remind me so much of the matte ones. Sent me a bunch of them. One that I use, Rail, reminds me of rice paper from matte. The color is pretty, especially on top of that gold. For the price, I think these are like a dollar fifty-five too. I'm not really sure. Or which is kind of close to the first one that I showed you. Purple one, which is Conjure. So it's like an eggplant kind of metallic color. Now here goes a nice green. This one is Cloak. Then we have like a wineish color, Riffin. This one is called Spell. And then we have Potion, which also reminds me of this other MAC color. They get a little fancy, okay, coming out with the real glamorous stuff for like a dollar, honey. For a dollar, make you holla. This one here is called Wand. This is pretty also. The last one that they sent me is Enchant. So the one pigment that I was referring to by uh, Shop Miss A in their AOA studio was the one called Spell. And this one right here reminds me a lot of Matte Eyeshadow Club. And I'm gonna show that to you guys really quick. This is the pigment. This is very soft. And this is Spell by Shop Miss A. So 
So I'm not really sure what primer I was gonna put on today. I did get some foundation from Estée Laurent, which was also gifted to me by Octoly. I actually really do like a lot of the Estée Laurent makeup products. I've gotten a lot of them from Octoly and they've all worked out. My face is very oily and sometimes it looks like my skin just eats up the foundation. With this one for today, I'm going to probably end up using the All Hours Primer. My foundation stays on all day with that one um, by Estée Laurent. So like I said, I was gifted this. This is the All Hours Foundation. And the color that I have is the Warm Hazelnut. I went online and looked at the color uh, swatches, not through Oxley, but on the Estée Laurent website. And this product works really well. I did try it out yesterday and I used it with the moisturizer toner. I did not put anything else on my skin but the moisturizer and toner. Normally I will put like a translucent powder over top of my moisturizer, but I wanted to see if it was needed. By let's say nine o'clock and I did start my makeup at like 10, by like nine o'clock in the evening, I looked so so oily and greasy up close, it was just like disgusting. Normally used on a day-to-day -day basis for translucent powder, the Becca Cosmetics Blurring um, Translucent Powder in the color Pink Haze. It comes off on my skin as kind of like a sheer color. Before I even do my makeup, being that my eyes are so kind of like dry underneath, I always try to keep it moisturized and hydrated. So I always use cocoa butter. I use a cocoa butter stick. I'm trying to get rid of these dark circles and I've tried many different eye creams. I'm just gonna stick with the original, original bare necessities of a cocoa butter stick. I've gotten like these dark circles recently over the past few months. If you guys are aware, know that my son, my middle son, who's 21 years old, when I called Wuzzle, he passed away in August. So for me, life has been really challenging, okay? And I say that, you know, only because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It has been very challenging and though I get on YouTube and I seem like I'm happy and I'm smiling, trust me, I really am happy and smiling and I'm glad to be on YouTube, but I do have my moments, okay, when it feels like life really gets me down. Depending on, you know what I'm saying, what I'm feeling at the time, I have to learn to deal with this. But over the past few months, it has been six months since my son has passed away. And though sometimes six months may seem like a lifetime to people, are not even that long, basically. For me, it feels like this has been like the longest six months of my life. I really don't know how to handle anger right now. And it seems like not just the littlest things, but it's not the little things that bother me, but I just really don't know how to be in control of my emotions at times. And I find myself lashing out a lot. Um, not a lot, but for, just a little tiny argument or disagreement with me and my husband or, you know, we're not married. You guys know that we were married at a time, but we are divorced, but we've been back together for some years, you know, but when we have a disagreement, it hits something really small. And I have gotten to the point where I just want to punch somebody and I just really take it to the extreme with my anger, which kind of like sucks because he didn't deserve that. And you know, the one thing that I will say about him is he is so patient and so understanding. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation. The one thing that I do like about this is it does have sunscreen in it. It has a spectrum, broad spectrum SPF of 20. This is up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, oil free. So the good news is it actually did get the same size as the Real Techniques one. I would say on a scale of one to 10, this was probably like an eight and a half. It's very bouncy and it's not stiff, but I'm definitely gonna use it for under my eye. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this. Um, first, I do need to apply my blurring powder out. So as I was saying, I'm so appreciative to him and his patience, but he's not only patient, this is a lot, girl. He's very understanding and he's such a strong individual, which makes me want to feel like, you know, why can't I feel like that, you know? He's very strong and he rationalizes things like, like, damn, why, you know, I can rationalize things, but you know, it's just the taking in part that gets to me. It doesn't really show up on my skin tone 
as a pinkish color, not that bad. So it's more or less good for me for a translucent powder. It does come with a pump. I'm just gonna take a few pumps and put it on the back of my hand. The color is a little bit darker than me. It's really hard to find colors online, especially depending on the monitor and the person's skin shape. You know, I did have to kind of like dull it down yesterday. And I am really struggling a lot with this entire situation with my son um, passing. And I know it takes time, trust me, I know that. But some things in life, you just really don't want them to take so much time, especially when you feel like the hurt and pain versus just joy. But I just wanna feel some type of comfort. And I do get that from my family, my husband, because he's very understanding. But within my own self, I really want to feel some type of you know stability and comfort and sometimes it's kind of hard for me to get to that point and to that level especially when I've had like a really tough day and I try to do YouTube only because listen it keeps me busy and it keeps my mind free from thinking too hard I'm busy doing a video or doing my makeup for a video or editing a video or doing something with the wigs and that kind of like helps me a lot to not have to think so hard and so much about what I'm going through and even though I've accepted it I haven't like probably totally accepted it you guys know what I mean like I understand and then a part of me really doesn't understand this is like kind of we gonna see how this works out. There's a part of me that I don't totally understand, basically why me. I'm just really appreciative and happy that I have so many of you guys that have been there for me. And even though you might not have met me physically and have been there with me physically or even talked to me over the phone, I feel the comfort and I feel the love which allows me to just continue basically trying to heal from all this. I go in his room on a daily basis, twice, three times a day. You know, I light him a candle. I've been lighting this candle since he's passed. And I light him a candle every evening and I talk to him. There are times when I just look at his pictures and I just really say to myself, why? And I cannot believe that this is really happening and I don't, I can't believe that you're not here. So when I start feeling like that, that's when I start having like those really bad breakdowns. I've been having like a really hard time with just being able to process everything. And it kind of sucks because it interferes with my own being and my own self. And a part of me just wants to just get back to old April, how April was you know, strong and more patient. Like, I don't really like to go off on a rampage on anybody, especially if it's not even that, you know, serious. But my mental stability and my emotions are just really not stable like they used to be. And I'm really trying to get past that. I know I probably look very, I don't look orange, but you can definitely tell from my skin tone here versus my face that the color is not a definite match. But girl, after we put our other products on it, we shall see how this turns out. Because that's what I had to do yesterday. The undertones of this color to me are more like an olive. You know, it's kind of looking olive on camera to me. I like the full coverage of this product. Like, girl, look, the full coverage is definitely there. Um, what I did yesterday was I took my beauty blender, and this is the Shop Miss A1. And I'm just going to color correct this one area here because I should have did that prior to my foundation. I'm just gonna use the Saint Laurent one. And I like this one because you could just push it out with like a pen drop and you don't need a lot. Now I know you guys are like, girl, that is not your color. But really this is my color. This is like a light peach color. I'm just gonna let it sit and just kind of like dry down for a second. And I'm just gonna use this and let's see how this works out. I'm just gonna take a little bit because I wanted to see how the blender worked too versus the brush with this um, foundation and also just the blender in general. I like to use both though. I do like to use the blender and the brush together. It feels like when I use the blender 
or the, the sponge afterwards, it gives me more of an even tone. It looks more died down. It looks finished. It looks like, you know, a, a, just a little bit muted. The brush sometimes looks a little bit heavy. I don't like too much foundation. And I like the way this sponge does feel. And being that I did this kind of backwards, I was supposed to put this on first. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some foundation over the top of it. Now I'm gonna dive into this CoverGirl concealer that I've been hearing so much about. I'm really trying to get through this and I appreciate everyone that's been there for me. I wanted to share some news with you guys before I just go further. So my oldest son, my eldest son, he is 27. He's been with his girlfriend since they have been in high school. This color that I have is Sand Beige. So him and his girlfriend of high school, they've been together, Mumsy's 12, so they've been together since Mumsy was not even born, okay? And he proposed to her on Christmas, so they are getting married June 20th, which I am so excited about because it's the day after my birthday, plus it's a week after my son's birthday, um, passed away his birthday was June 12th mine is the 19th so I'm excited about that because for one I love his girlfriend they have two kids okay and I just think they're made for each other and also they will be moving here in July so I'm really excited about that because I get to see my kids every day my grandkids every day you know, I have three grandsons, so I'm I'm it's extra excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it in because this product is one that you can tell that's gonna dry super fast. So let's try this out for the cover girl. So so far it blends out really good. It's really soft. It is definitely giving me full coverage vibes, which I'm feeling so far for under my eye area. I like this. Hey. Now this I like, okay? This one worked out really good. I'm gonna just use this right here too, honey. I'm gonna show you guys the Shop Miss A one. So this is the nude one, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand because there isn't a brush. So far, so good with this concealer. I have like major issues with my under eye uh, creasing. And so yeah, my son is getting married and they're moving here, which is like a huge deal to me. And I'm happy about that because for one, it will allow me to spend more time with my son. And then at the same time, it kind of like hurts my heart and it breaks my heart only because my sons, the both of them were really, really close to each other. They were like the best of friends and the one thing that bothers me is the fact that my son will be moving here and my other son Wuzzle will not be able to enjoy, you know, his brother being here. So that bothers me a lot, you know, and I can't keep letting these little things bother me, but it's like the milestones that you, you know, in your life, you go through and you want to share it with that person who's no longer with you. Just the fact of my son getting married. So things like that really irritate, not irritate me, but they bother me. I kind of like try to kind of like steer away from, well, Wozo's not here to, you know, embrace this moment. Wozo's not here to see what's happening. And I have to get out of that mindset because that's what I think is like holding me back. I'm definitely probably gonna think about that for the rest of my life, but I need to find a balance to where I can be able to still, you know, function without having the spaz out on people. This is the um, Shop Miss A nude. Kind of like didn't put a lot, but trust me when I tell you, it's amazing stuff. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera for sure. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and set this for a second with my Sasha Buttercup. This stuff is really good, but for me, I cannot put it directly underneath my eye. It will make my eye area look so dry. The foundation is coming out kind of good, way that I had to kind of like dye it down. You know you gotta work with what you got. So I went ahead and did my brows. In case you guys are wondering what I put on my brows, I use this dip brow gel liner dip brow. You can use it for your eyes, your eyeliner or your brows. 
And this is by a brand called Music Flower. It comes in a double pack, so it's a dark brown and a black. And I think I paid like seven bucks for it on Amazon. I've been getting this for like a couple years. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face down with some of this Max Fix Plus. Warm my eyelids up with this Estee Lauder facial powder. It's a pressed powder. The color that I'm in is a medium, but it gives me more or less like a natural look because I really don't like a lot of color on my eyelids. And sometimes I have issues putting on eyeliner. So I try to avoid the complications of life with my makeup because I'm already stressed out. So as I was saying, like I was saying about my son, you know, he will be moving here and I'm really excited about that and happy because I get to help them with my grandkids, you know, and just be a part of their lives, their everyday lives. So I'm excited about that. They get married in June, which will be in New York. So I'll definitely be back for that. And my daughters are going to be, the two younger ones, Monty and Nay, are gonna be in the wedding. So their color scheme is white and red and I think silver. I watched my daughter-in-law, cause I've already called her my daughter-in-law, pick out her dress on FaceTime. Like she was modeling her dresses for me last weekend on FaceTime. And I was so happy about that because she didn't even have to include me if she didn't want to. But just the fact that she took her time and thought about me made me just even love her even more. And her mom, her own biological mom was there too. But I was just happy that I was part of it and was able to, you know, FaceTime and be able to see the dresses. So that was like a really happy moment for me. But the part that really gets me down is the fact that like all of this stuff is transpiring now and my son is not here to, you know, to share in the moment. And it's kind of like all kind of like hit me at once, all kind of like in the same month of June my son's birthday and mine and like I appreciate that and I'm happy about that too and then there comes August when my son passed away which kind of like brings me down a lot of me a part of me a big huge part of me really wants him to be involved in everything but you know I do understand that he is involved in things just not in the physical so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into the gels, these eyeshadow, kind of like pink pots to me, thinking that maybe I should use the rose, and I'm going to see what pigment they have to match. Probably be this one here, which is Enchant. They would make like a nice duo, not too bright of a color, because I'm more or less like a subtle person, I'm not really sure why. Probably because I'm not a makeup pro. So those are just the things that, that I've noticed within myself that I'm really not too happy about. There are a lot of things that I've been going through that I really just don't share. And one of them is with the entire, my entire love life. I love my my fiance, my children's father, my ex-husband, whatever you wanna call him, I love him to death. And you know, we are engaged to be married and I kind of like felt like it was forced and not on his part, definitely not on his, but my own because it was something that I wanted right away. And you know when you're in love and you're just so happy with what things, with how things are going. And I'm so happy still the way things are going, but I just feel like I was, it was forced. Not, like I said, not on his part, but mine. Because I wanted the ring. I wanted all of that right then and there. And sometimes you just got to be happy, but with what you have for the moment. And not even for the moment. And like, I'm not saying settle down and settle because that's not it. Girl, this is pretty. I can't remember if it was a dollar or a dollar fifty-five, but even if it was three dollars, it's still worth it. So I kind of like I didn't push anything off, and I definitely we definitely didn't break up. He's here, and I'm not going nowhere, and neither is he. But I just felt like I needed to get back to my roots, meaning how I was prior to. Um, us getting back together. I was a lot more strong-willed then. I, I went harder. I went a lot, I worked a lot harder. And granted, who wants to sit up every day, all night, at like two to three in the morning editing videos so that they could pop up on your video YouTube screen on a daily basis? So I did stop doing that. Like, you know, I don't stay up until two in the morning and edit videos. But anyway, you know, so I kind of like took the well, I didn't kind of, I did. I took the ring off and I explained to my, my, I'm just gonna call him my husband because that's what he's 
always going to be to me. I explained to him the reasons why. And it, and I was honest. I felt like, you know, it was forced. And he said that it wasn't. But I felt in my own terms that the way that I was going about it and what I wanted at the time, to me, it felt forced. And that's not okay. I like things to flow naturally. And that's fine. And some things you just cannot rush. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've already been there and we've already been married. So it's not like I need a piece of paper to solidify anything and to make me feel more of a person or make me even feel more love because I definitely don't need that from him. Like when I say the when I say what I when I say I definitely don't need that from him, meaning I definitely need the love from him. I don't need the piece of paper because I know in my heart of hearts that he truly does love me and care for me. So I don't need the paper for that. So I just felt like, you know, when the time comes and without me kind of like feeling forced, then it will come. And I don't like to feel that way about my own self. I just really don't like the person that I have become over the past six months. And it's not a bad thing and it's not a good thing, but I just need for myself to get back to reality and get back to my strengths, okay? And not feel so vulnerable and weak, not with just a man, but just in everyday life. But there is this heavy weight that is just really holding me back and I'm really trying to figure out how do I even begin to start to heal? Like I really need to stop using YouTube as a mask just to allow me to not think about things that are, are hurting me in my heart. And that's what I've been using it as. But don't get me wrong, I love coming on here and talking with you guys, I honestly do. But I need to be able to get back to me. Now, we're going to be in, we're going into this enchanted pigment. I'm going to just use that same brush that I used to apply this. I know it's probably going to be all out because it's a pigment. So I'm going to just kind of like put my finger here. So that way I can prevent it. And plus I already have product on it. I'm just going to take that and tap it all on. If you can see the difference, it just gives it a little bit more metallic look. And these products are really good for the price that they are. So as you guys can tell, I did take the ring off and I explained it to him. And he totally understood. Now, if you guys thinking we broke up, we did definitely not break up. Like, you know what? You know when you, you, you met someone and you just know you guys are inseparable. We're definitely inseparable. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, that he's my life partner forever. And I just sometimes feel like things just need to slow down. And, you know, let it run its course. You know, we are who we are. I feel like it was not a miracle, but... I feel really happy that we are back together because some couples, you know, in life, you get married, you get divorced, and then sometimes people won't even speak to each other. The exes won't even speak to one another. But at least we have that understanding where we can speak to each other and also that we still love each other and we were able to get back together. So as far as being married or even engaged, I could care less as long as he's a part of my life. And that's all that really matters to me. And I'm going to attempt to blend this out with this brush here, which is from Sedona Lace. It's the EB09. I love their brand of brushes as well. They really kind of like mimic MAC brushes to a T, but slash the price. And I know there's so many different brands out there now, but I just love the Sedona and I love the MAC brushes a lot. And I guess that's because that's what I started out with. So this is pretty decent. Like, I like this shadow a lot. Like the color is so cute. This is a really good formula. Also, I'm gonna be using some more of their eyeshadows, which is this one here. This is the day, um, the date night palette, and it comes with uh, nine different colors. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna use this one here. And this is like a magnetic pen. You can take this out. This is in the color perfect. I want it to kind of like blend in with the actual shadow or the pigment, which kind of is working out good. I'm just gonna go back and forth and speak English. Now, like I said, I'm not the best at putting on makeup. Sometimes it takes me a few hours. Sometimes I end up washing my face off like three to four times because the foundation application is not what I expected. So this color worked out pretty perfect. I don't want anything too dramatic. I'm not even gonna put on eyeliner because listen, I'm not that great at it. I'm just going to pack on the eyeshadow, okay? This is the one thing that I really don't like about this MAC. Um, MAC Fix Plus, it kinda 
gives you these white spots. Let me go get the regular. I'll be right back. So yeah, I'm not really like a huge fan of the Fix Plus, which is the matte formula. I've tried it a few times and I always notice that I get these white little speckles from the actual spray nozzle. So I'm just going to go back to the regular, which I... So, so far, so good with this foundation. I'm actually really liking it. For my eyelashes, I'm not putting any on, so I'm just gonna use this mascara from MAC, which I absolutely love. And you know the one thing that I cannot stand about wearing individuals sometimes is the fact that the foundation will get all on your lashes. Let me put this on real quick. Okay, so now that we have the mascara on, so I'm just gonna contour just a, a tad bit. The first one that I'm gonna use is my Oldie Book Goodie. This is probably, I don't even know if they even make this still, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. I'm not sure if the, the casing looks like this anymore, but this one here is Coco. I love it for a contour. And I know a lot of people have been asking me or, and sending me messages, and I've also seen them in the comments about when is Real Talk coming back and you know, I miss real talk and when are you going to do real talk again? And, you know, I've explained this in the comments, but I'm just going to say this on camera. So for those of you guys who want to know, the reason why I'm not doing real talk right now is because for one, I was doing real talk. Oh my God, this stuff. I was doing real talk for quite a while up until my son's passing. And then, you know, when I did come back, I just was doing the wig videos. I really... I mean, I do want to do real talk once again, but the reason why I'm not focusing on it right now is because I need to focus on my own self. I really just don't feel like I can give anyone else advice when I need it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to sit in a chair for a therapy session. And I was going to counseling, but that ended. And it's not that I don't feel like she didn't help, she, she didn't help me because she did, but... You know, I I guess I could say I felt 50-50 about it, to be honest. Like, I was very open about it, and I was very open with her. But, you know, it's... I really don't know how to explain it. Like, she was able... She allowed me to voice my opinion and voice how I feel about things. And she gave me some really good advice and how to get through things. But it's like this. If you don't really know where to start from, like start from scratch, like you don't really know how or where to begin to heal, how are you going to be able to help anybody else? You know what I mean? So even though I'm very opinionated and I do use my own life issues when I am doing the real talk with people, I just feel like right now is not the time for me to do that because, you know, my own temperament, my own life situation needs to be evaluated and I need to come to terms with what I'm going through. But I feel like for myself, I need an evaluation. I need a real talk. So I don't really know which pressed powder I want to use. I mean, like I do and I don't. I wanted to use my Estee Lauder um, in color medium. Then I really wanted to use my Pure, which is in the color tan. And I've had this for some time, like for some years, and I actually really do love this product a lot. And I don't use it like I should. It's a really good product. Like Pure is really good. So I guess I'm using that today because I'm already applying it, right? Foundation is really bomb. This Laneige is amazing toner and moisturizer. I'm feeling this. It makes your skin so soft, okay? But if you have oily skin, you'll definitely want to put on a facial translucent powder and then your foundation or else you're going to look like an oily piece of chicken by the end of the day. This is Film Noir by MAC. This is their blush and I love this because it is like this reddish brown but I use it for a contour very lightly. Like I barely tap it and I just start off like that and kind of like, you know, gradually do it because it is darker but I do love it. Love it. I love this. I had this, got this a few years ago, and I don't use it like I normally would or used to, so I'm pretty sure that they still sell. And I used this yesterday with this foundation, and girl, when I looked in the mirror to the side, I was like, ooh, honey, snatch, girl. And I just go in up motions because 
I can get really heavy handed. It's much easier for me to do certain makeup techniques on the right versus the left. I haven't done a contour like this in a minute. For a highlight, we're gonna go back into the Shop Miss A brand, which is their AOA. We're gonna be using their Majesty palette and I'm gonna take my fan brush. So I'm gonna be using this color right here at the bottom, but you can also get it individually too. Now see, this is the side that can never get right. And let's see, for this one right here, not a lot of sparkle from that one, that particular color. So I did bring me a backup just in case. I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder one. And this one is in the color Heat Wave. I'm not sure if they still sell this in like Sephora, Ulta or wherever, but I got this from the cosmetic company and I love the colors like this. I don't really like too much, but maybe this is enough, girl. So Shop Miss A has like amazing products. They even got like a highlight that's cream that I also use too. As for my lips, I'm just gonna put on a lip gloss because I'm just that type of girl whenever I can find it. So I'm gonna be using the Shop Miss A AOA Diamond Lip Gloss in the color Posh. This is the one that I always use. And I'm gonna line my lips first with a lip liner. This is by NYX. This is in the color Noir. Funny story, but it's not really funny. Reason why I don't wear like a lot of loud colors is because of my lip on the right side. This part of my lip is not the same as this side. When I was 10 years old, we used to live in Brooklyn um, with my, my sister's father. We lived in a brownstone. We lived on the third floor. His sister, my sister's aunt lived on the second floor. Her grandmother lived on the very bottom. Well, her grandmother had this dog. He was kind of old. His name, what the hell was his name? Pup Pup. His name was Pup Pup. One day I was downstairs and her uncle, my sister's uncle, if I was 10, he had to be like, maybe like 16, 15 at the time. He dared me to blow a whistle in the dog's ear. So I did. And then I did it the second time. The first time the dog growled. The second time I did it, he bit me. And so he bit me in my face, right here on my lip. And my lip was hanging and I had to be rushed to the hospital so that they could sew it back up. So in return, I have that mark and plus inside, I have like a lump. That's the reason why I don't wear like certain colors and I have to line it up a little bit because of the bite. Just thought I'd share that. Now I'm gonna be taking the Diamond Lip Gloss by Shop Miss A, which is the posh color. I use this one all the time. And I really like their lip glosses a lot. Now it's time to put on my wig again. So what are you guys thinking about the color of this foundation? How did it work out? I'm not really sure how I feel about the lip gloss today. I like this color a lot. It's just really hard to choose foundations on screen. But this looks kind of decent for a color that's not really directly my shade. Now, let me go get the wig from Her Given Hair and I'm gonna give you the deets and the updates. Okay guys, first I wanna apologize. This video is so long, but I really wanted to talk with you guys. It's three o'clock, mom gets out at 3.10, so I get there at 3.15, so a girl is limited to time. So this is the Her Given Hair No Need to Stare lace front wig that I reviewed a few weeks ago. This hair texture is amazing. Like I washed it last night. You can get the curls to kind of like form any type of way. I just put some of my Mark Anthony's curling cream in it while it was wet and I just conditioned it as normal. It's like transparent just lace, it has the combs and it also has the adjustable black elastic band that's already pre-sewn in here for you. So this one, they, they just basically cater to nothing but textured hair and I love that. So it doesn't always have to be, it doesn't all have to be curly hair. It could be like, you know, yakky straight. More texture is more geared to us women of color. And I really like this wig a lot because it's very natural and it's just very easy to maintain. Well, I love curly hair, but it all depends on the texture. But like I was saying, this one doesn't like give you that look where it's too um, it's too stiff or anything like that. It just basically moves and floats. And at first I thought I kind of looked weird with it, but not like in a bad way. Like, was it too big for me? Like too much hair? But everyone's kept complimenting me on it. Don't really have to do much. 
but just put it on and even if you don't want to kind of like stick it down like tack it down you don't have to because it's curly hair so I don't really want to tack it down so I'm just going to take my clips like always and I'm just going to like do my baby hairs a little bit but I like the quality of the hair plus they give you like a really nice packaging when you you know you get your wig and stuff and the lace is so transparent so you don't have to worry about anyone you know seeing your lace I just like to put like a little bit so I'm gonna just take some hairspray and just brush some curls down and this is what I normally do Alright you guys, so I have to turn up the setting color on my camera. So, I am such a slow person, you know, I'm always late for something. I put the wig on as best as I could because I gotta hurry up and go. But, this is her, like, she is, look, honey, this hair is everything. Like, seriously, I don't really fluff her up too much because she's already big. But she gave me like that look. Like the first time I had her parted, I think it was on this side. And I'm more of less like a right sided part girl. But once I put my earrings on, hunty, oh my God, you guys definitely have to get this wig. This is from her giving hair. It's very natural looking. You can wear her in so many different styling options. I think she was 16 inches. And like I said, I don't really like to fluff her up too much because she's already big. Like this is like big hair honey and I just like to pull her behind my ear like that and go you know what I'm saying but you guys I really enjoyed this video with you I will link all of the information down below for Octoly and shop Miss A Octoly is an amazing place if, especially if you're a beauty influencer and you want some free products to review all they ask in return is a an unbiased real authentic honest review on products and you get to keep them and there's so many different products that you can choose from and it's not just makeup as far as shop miss a well you guys already know how i feel about them i love them they have amazing products for like budget friendly cosmetics so i definitely would say yes and i'm saying yes to this east saint laurent foundation because this is bomb as heck and the moisturizer was amazing too i like the eye patch but i really wish that it would stay on and definitely check out her given hair because if you want a bomb bomb arm wig like this then you definitely want to check them out you guys let me know what you think about the entire video you know conversation wise and if you want me to do more of these conversation videos or my thoughts about just life in general then definitely while I'm doing my makeup I, I like that like I don't really want it to be like a makeup tutorial because like I said I'm not a makeup guru I don't really do makeup like that I do what I can but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the soon to come video make sure you check the links and I'll see you soon.